Now, here's where things may get a little controversial. Eric loves Boston. Everything about it. The city, uh, the sports teams, the Pats and the Red Sox. He loves having his family close by and uh, being close to uh, the Cape so he can head up the beach. Me, on the other hand, um, I'm a New York guy. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I thought some of the person was going to To be honest, I feel a little out of my element out here in Boston territory. So I wonder if we might be able to bring someone in who better speaks the language. Eric, I guess your best man had to call me in for a meeting on the mound. Classic Yankee. Unable to get the job done, even with a huge head start. To Eric and Jenny, I hear you guys are huge Boston fans, so it gives me great pleasure to wish you a very happy wedding day, a wonderful marriage. Keep cheering on the socks and make sure your kids grow up to love Fenway. Congratulations and cheers. Jimmy, you look stunning, and Eric, so handsome. And although she's not here in the crowd today, Jimmy and Eric's 99-year-old neighbor, Fran, who is smitten by Eric, would agree. <laughs> Fran gave me not one, but two applesauces to give you. <laughs> Jimmy, I've been thinking about this speech for months. And there's truly no words that can describe how much your friendship means to me. I know I can come to you with anything, and you will give it to me straight. You don't judge, you're supportive, and most of all, you are the most trustworthy person I know. And you're just so darn organized. It's impressive. <laughs> My friend Jimmy is someone who's always impressed me. I admire her intelligence, her determination, and she's one of the strongest women I know. I look up to her and what she continues to accomplish. This woman deserves the world. Her partner would have to treat her like the domestic goddess she is. And then uh, someone came along that really challenged um, and, and that best friend status that we have. Um, it really inspired her, um, helped him to become the best version of himself. And I think we all know the person that I'm talking about. It's Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm talking about Jane. Uh, she's such a great match for Eric. Uh, she's beautiful and kind and loves Boston almost as much as Eric. Uh, she's so fun and funny uh, and can really light up the room. Um, she's driven, smart, successful, and... Uh, Sorry, Jenny, I can't read what you wrote here. <laughs> uh, but all those things are true, and uh, she absolutely is the best compliment um, for Eric. I've never seen him so happy. A couple of years ago, my husband and I were out for drinks before Bruins game. And who did we bump into? Ginny and the guy she's been seeing. Busted. <laughs> she introduced us and we noticed he was very shy. If he didn't come out of his shell soon, he wouldn't last. <laughs> we hung out more and more all together and slowly but surely saw who Eric Corvega was. On our Croatia trip, somebody referred to Eric Corvega as a tulip. <laughs> because early on, he is closed up, but before long, he transforms into a colorful blossom. <laughs> oh, poor Eric. <laughs> I had no idea what he was getting into when he met me. <laughs> and the day he met me, I was eight whole months pregnant, which means I was in rare form. <laughs> um, and so, like any best friend would do, I had to test out the new bow and see how he might do in an uncomfortable situation. So I threw a comment his way. I said, Jenny needs to be pregnant right now. And Eric, 
instead of getting frazzled or baffled at my comment, just gave me the most charming Eric smile, didn't say anything at all, but gave me that look that said, Dara, I am far too smart to respond to that. <laughs> Uh, he knew it right away, and, and I think we all really did. Um, it was funny, in the first few weeks they started dating, uh, after every time they'd meet, I'd get a call or a text from Aaron. Uh, they go out to dinner, I think this is the one, this is it. They go out for drinks or to Fenway or whatever they were doing, I think this is the one, this is it. He was just so <laughs> excited. Um, the first time I met Jenny uh, was in Boston, about a month or two in, and it was the first time her sister uh, Leah was meeting her too. Um, we were dancing at this bar, and uh, she fit in just so seamlessly uh, to the things Eric cares about the most, his family and his friends. Um, on the way back, we said goodnight to Ginny, and the three of us were in the Uber together. And I looked at Leah uh, with a smirk and just said, that's the one. And she nodded back and she knew it too. Um, and Eric was sitting up front and uh, just patted him on the shoulder like, yeah, you done good, kid. <laughs> It's been great getting to know you over the past few years. Learning of your super, super competitive nature and your love of sarcasm and how darn organized you are too. I, I don't know what it is for some days. Um, I knew you were going to be the perfect match for my best friend. I'm so thrilled for the two of you, for the love, for the life you've cultivated thus far. Please, everyone, join me, raise a glass to the bride in the tulip. To best friends, Austin and Mr. and Mrs. Rubega. <laughs>
to hurry up and get down here so I can marry you. Well, there. <laughs> My handwriting sucks. Leave me alone. P.P.S. You're beautiful and not. <laughs> Thank you. And now I need a tissue. I feel excited. I have butterflies in my stomach and I'm shaking but I know as soon as I see your face at the end of the aisle it'll be okay. <laughs>